What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today. We are going to do some set seed. Valheim speed runs. Basically, this is the same as the usual speedrun category that we run. Um, except that um, we type in the seed. Um, so we know where we're going. Uh, this is a different category than I usually run. And uh, no one has actually officially submitted a run. In this category post hearth and home um and it's actually something that generally um i choose not to focus on set seed because i find random seed to be more interesting but what interests me about it now is we have lots of new strats and uh with the new strats I'm really curious how fast Valheim can actually be beaten objectively. And obviously, when we do random seed, you know, we, we're, we're just relying on RNG to get a good seed. Whereas this, we can objectively play a fast seed. So it, it should, it's like the objective shortest speedrun category. Playing the game legitimately. If that makes sense. Uh, so I'm really curious. Um, we attempted this a little bit. On my birthday. What's up? Like so, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Thanks so look, I appreciate that. Um, another aspect of uh, me wanting to do these set seed runs is uh, I would like to one day be able to do speedrun marathon where I beat all of the games that I know how to speedrun in a row back to back with no deaths and no resets. Well, not necessarily no deaths, but no resets. Um, and with Valheim, it's impo almost impossible to do that in a marathon with a random seed run. We could definitely do it with this category with some practice. So uh, what I want to do is just keep practicing this seed without really looking up too much. Just re making yourself rely on your memory is just the best way to learn anything, in my opinion. What's up, Cloaky? Thanks for stopping by. I am well. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing good as well, mate.
Okay. Probably not worth necessarily worrying about. What's up, Legend? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good. It's probably not worth necessarily worrying about. Having the most optimal amount. Rocks and stuff. Hello, Nat Demon. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. We're running a set seed today, by the way, guys. So no, no, no crazy RNG factors. I want to practice more set seeds so we can do Valheim in marathon runs. Plus, I would like to know if it's possible to beat Valheim in less than two hours. From scratch. Yeah, sorry about the late streams. I intended to start much earlier today. But, oh my god, today, guys. Unbelievable. So, I was expecting two deliveries today. first one i received a text message telling me that i missed it right foggy legend thanks so much for the 50 knock it's very generous thanks so much for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive bro i really appreciate that it really helps thank you Yeah, I received a text message telling me I missed the delivery, man, right? Then it said, like, click here to see your options. So I did. And then I clicked it. And it said, your parcel was delivered to Radcliffe, which is nobody's name. Foggy, there it is. Legend. Thanks so much for the super sticky legend. Thanks for supporting the content. Keeping the dream alive. Really appreciate that, dude. The super stickers are awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that. But anyway, yeah, it said it had been delivered to Radcliffe, which isn't anybody. And there was just... A, I could see a photograph of my mum's feet, basically. I was like, wait, so it actually was delivered. But they, but I li they literally told me it, it wasn't delivered. <laughs> it's super weird. The second one. Said it was delivered. And it said. There was a note that said they put it in my letterbox. Right. Only it wasn't in my letterbox. It wasn't anywhere. I checked the shed, the front and back garden. Like I said, a couple of times they've left stuff. In random places in the front or back garden. Where like the, all the neighbors on the street have a group test. Text or is that asking there? They didn't know where it was. I was asking neighbors and stuff. I was literally messing around for hours trying to find this parcel chat. 
Like I wanted to be live earlier, but this is literally what I was doing. And then, randomly, th there's one neighbor that isn't in the group chat because it, it, it uh, it's an old man. Uh, and uh, he just randomly knocked on my door. And he had it. And he was like, I just found this. He was like, I literally didn't even know I had it. It was tucked in my letterbox in my front door. So they'd actually put it in someone else's letterbox and not even told them about it. So what the hell? I was literally, could, I was looking for it for hours. I couldn't make any sense out of it. <laughs> but it just showed up from a neighbor. Oh yeah, I've had that as well, Bevo. I I even I even checked the recycling bins. So weird when they do that as well, but even that, like, yeah, couldn't find it. It's so random. Anyway, we're here now. <laughs> Where are you going? Whatever, dude. Yeah, it is weird when they bought delivery stuff sometimes. I'm not streaming tomorrow, by the way, guys. I'm going to be busy. Catching up with a friend. Well, the server stream is going to be on Sunday. At 6 p.m. UK time for approximately three to four hours. What's up, fine? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Um So yeah, I'm running set seed. And uh basically I just wanna just start routinely running this from time to time you know i want to still my main focus be rsg but um i want to start running this from time to time just to practice it so the goal is to really just try and finish a run as long as there's nothing ridiculous like what happened last time where we lost our bed on modder for some reason. I'm not really like... It's really early days for this category in Hearth and Home. Um... What are my time goals? I don't really have time goals right now because 
we don't I just want to set a time and then we'll start trying to beat it in the long run though I would like like the one of the reasons why I'm going to start working on this category is because I want to figure out if it's possible to beat Valheim in less than two hours now Archie did it two and a half hours before Hearth and Home. We do have some slightly different strats, but again, no one's really ran it post Hearth and Home. So we're in sort of uncharted territory. And this might not be the fastest seed. There's two. Th there's this seed and another seed that are contenders, basically. This one seems like it should be the fastest. So, right now, if we if we can do it in less than four hours, I'll be happy. I totally forgot about Flint. Well, not totally, but we should have been collecting more of it. We're kind of mostly just running across. It's that landed stuff, though. Yeah, it is the same one that ran for my birthday. It should be the fastest one. We just need to get better at it. Yeah, right now, if, you know, anywhere around four hours would be decent to start with. It's because it's all just going to be remembering exactly the, the fastest path to everything and what order to collect everything in, which is going to take a while. And I find that process extremely tedious and boring. So what I would actually rather do is just trial and error and just improve my time over and over again. And if I have something comes to me like, oh, we can just do this then, for example, then we I do it adjust that. Because the thing is, the key thing is going to be memory. Really memorizing everything. We go in trying to have everything super optimal right from the get go. There's going to be analysis paralysis. We won't start runs. Again, a privilege people that don't stream have when it comes to speed running. They just can just sit and do that, but I want to just start doing this now. See what we see what kind of time we can get kind of winging it and then just optimize it over time.
Move! Evening, Fairlock. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Appreciate that by a lot. Yeah, for now we've set seed. I just want to just do runs, really. Just any runs. Just finish them. Just kind of get used to it. Get the basic locations and stuff just in my head basically like that's just how I like to do what learn a lot of speed runs is just it kind of depends exactly what it is but a lot of the time it's like I like to just be able to do whatever it takes to finish runs consistently. As long as you're doing something close to the to the route, if you know what I mean. Um Definitely miss some potential leather. Um, Definitely missed some leather that we got last time. But should be okay still. Yeah, so there's basically there's multiple reasons why I want to run set seed at the minute. It is something different. Like, I do prefer random seed. But it is something different. I'd like to know if the game is possible to do sub two hour. And if there's no seed that's possible sub two hour now, maybe we can find one. 
Um, it's pretty good practice for all the categories as well. And I want to be able to run map, uh, do some speed run marathons. And uh, you can't really do random seed runs in marathons. Probably actually. bed here a set seed speed run is actually the same as what we usually do except we type in the seed instead of playing on a random seed we actually need one more leather which is unfortunate Should have kept that hammer actually. Oh my god, dude, what? So we can play on whatever seed we want, so we actually know where everything is. We're just gonna do it as fast as possible. Thanks for stopping by the stream though, Cosmic Dream Chase. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. The good thing as well about set seed is that people will get to see a lot more finished runs. Nice. And if we do get a successful run tonight, I might actually have to uh, see if we can get a successful try some Midgard run back to back just for marathon practice. But... Um, In general, I do prefer random seed anyways. Thanks so look Zom, I appreciate it. Let's see if we can get... Oh, actually... Hmm. We could kill a... Brute. Oh. 
Now let me check that chest one more time. We'll do that. We can do two clubs with this. Um, that isn't what I was looking for, though. The, we definitely missed some ball at the start. Oh yeah, troll craze are kind of nuts first time we go in. Good morning, Cougar. Thanks so look, I appreciate that. out or something see if we can lose this troll Piss off, please. What's up, Steve-O? I can stop him out of the stream. I hope you're doing good. Nah, you, you can't really get any, like, many things to fight each other, honestly, in this game. Mostly just if they're from different biomes. Thanks, Devo. One of the best things you can probably get to happen in terms of getting something to fight a boss is uh, a lock getting to fight bone mass.
Yeah, we're doing set seeds again today. Just want to start working on this gradually. Like, no rush or anything to get, like, a specific time. No one has set a time yet, but... Just want to start working on it, you know? We'll, we'll play this every now and then. Just to improve at it. need this right this is actually one of the big things in the run that's gonna suck is where elder goes right this actually looks decent We need to make sure we bait him to a ranged attack after he does that thing to summon vines. But he stays on the fires a little bit longer. What's up, Max? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. I am well. Thanks for asking. That was alright. That was alright. Not, not, not too bad. Oh, that was pretty, pretty decent. of wood. You know, not the fastest elder ever, but it was definitely good, a good start. Okay. 
Okay. I also kind of just uh, would like to get a run of this category up on YouTube so people to watch. There is no world record yet for this category. No one's run it since uh, the Hearth and Home update. Okay. Right, so I'll just do this real quick, actually. Oh no, we still need fucking leather, don't we? Let's just do this anyway. Um, I mean, I don't really know about times yet. It's the early days. In the long run, I'd like to try and get this category down to sub two hours. And it should hypothetically be possible. We might just not have a fast enough seed for it yet. But uh, for now, I'll be fine with anything around four hours for now. It's going to take anywhere between three and four hours. Maybe a bit longer if we get a shit run. For now. Because it's just not optimized. It's not really routed. The seeds actually don't change that much. For this category. It's actually incredibly rare for someone to find a good set seed. Because the seeds we have are so good already. But I mean, you know, most likely still possible to get an even better seed. Um, should probably actually... There's only this seed and one other that's a contender right now. Um... But, you know, maybe we can find a better one. I don't know. Oh, shit, dude.
Did we try and lose them or something? Well, literally can't do anything with this room. <laughs> That's so look, Lancelot. Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Hit that like button. You all you heard Lancelot chat. Don't make him angry. Don't tell him what he might do. Thanks for the follow. Roman hand to appreciate it. Fucking annoying as shit, dude. Well, fuck you then. I'm going up here again. Maybe this will work. Come on. Yeah, someone could hypothetically write anything, write something to brute force seeds. Extremely unlikely to happen unless someone from our community does it for us, though. Like Minecraft or shit like that, but thousands of people run the game, basically. Oh my god, what am I doing? Actually, didn't even do what I was setting out to do after all that. So stupid. Kind of annoying that we still need leather because it means like we're gonna have to farm more wood in the swamp. Which is just kind of yikes in general. Yeah, exactly, Cougar. Anything important that's important, like right now. I try and keep in the hot bar. Anything I need to keep track of, maps wise. Wood's always one. Man, all this just for not collecting, not killing enough balls in the beginning. Oh yeah, last night as well. For anyone that watches last night's stream, either on YouTube or live. I've actually finally like readjusted how our reset runs so I won't accidentally press reset again.
Like I've actually got my split button now just splits instead of splits and resets. And then I've got a reset button on my stream deck. So it's completely on a separate device. Hopefully no more accidental resetting. I don't even know if this is even worth it, man. Like, this is going to be so slow to get the amount of wood we actually need. That's annoying because... Yeah, I think actually what we should do is go back Black Forest. We need like a lot more wood. It's just so slow. Oh. So slow uh, farming wood always in the swamp. Let's just start doing this now. Still gonna need probably double the amount of wood. But better stand in now. Oh actually I forgot. Oh shit. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I forgot to make two clubs. But it's not gonna make that much of a difference. That's the kind of thing though. Like we're here for, we need to just practice in general. Obviously, the interesting difference between this category and RSG is.
that it's just like whatever is the objective fastest way to do something fucking what dude Okay. That's probably fine for now, wood wise, actually. Oh my god. Okay. Move the poison. What's up, get on the bar? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. It's a pleasure to be here streaming for you guys. I wish we could have started sooner today, so apologies for that. Yeah, I love streaming. Very welcome. Okay, good, good. I'm curious if uh, the drop rate of scrap piles is the same every time. It seems like it probably is.
Okay. Whoa. I don't know. Shall we maybe... Oh, that's good. That's actually what wanted to happen. I can't reach him. <laughs> nice. to figure out like the best way for us to get these with the bones on this seed meme with the uh, archer feel like this still might be better with the bones than the last attempt better time with the bones. damage reduction from the wall. <laughs> okay, remove that poison. What the fuck? I must have also collected something that blocked the inventory slot. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, 
Wait, hang on. I'm gonna say it's a different. Alright, there's two with the bow now, actually. <sighs> We're so deep into this crypt, it's such an annoying journey now. Oh, wrong way again. Evening, Scraptastic. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Oh, my God. Turns out to kill me. Is this some kind of video game or something? Wait to heal from the uh, bolts run. I still don't have the goddamn spear though. Keep spawning more and more stuff and let me out though. Alright. So far so good. See if we can uh, maybe pick up three from another crypt along the way. Maybe. Oh, we got one. So I just need two more. Thanks, Phil. Like, I appreciate it. We got another one. Let's see one more. Appreciate that song. What's up, John? Thanks for coming by. I hope you're doing good, mate. Yeah, well. Um.
Okay. Maggie, Poggy, thanks so much for the stream. Hope you're doing good. Nice, let's feel that way. Jericho. Okay. Should just be Gucci now. So it's this way. Thanks a lot for watching the stream today, you guys. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a decent day. One says thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Appreciate that, Jogo. It's awesome, dude. I'm glad you enjoy the content. That means a lot. Thank you. Bendy, thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that, bud. Ahoy. Good stuff by the stream, bud. Hope you're doing good. One of the things that is, can be random is uh, the angle of the boss altar. It's kind of weird actually seeing bone mass at this angle. I've not seen it like this before on this seed. It's one of the things that, like I said, can be random on a set seed.
Um. Let's go. Thanks, Fendi's. friendly bow mass AI cycles now. I'm playing a different category today, guys. This is a set seed speed run, so it's not going to be random seed world record. This is a run where we actually type the seed in so we know where the bosses are. It's a different category, which means that there is no record yet in this category. So any run we finish will actually be world record for now because no one's done this yet. I'm working on this category because I want to see how fast he can do it. Definitely easy. Definitely easy bar. I don't make sure I don't go too far to the right here, otherwise it'll fall off.
Do -do -do -do. If I manage to get a successful Valheim run down, I want to see if we can do a successful Travis and Midgard run back to back. Hey, what? Why are you all the way over there? Repair club now. We don't need to repair the club now. It does actually matter when we repair the club. What? No back seating, please. Exclamation back seating in the chat. In YouTube, please. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Bowmass has actually been kind of nice to us here with distancing and stuff. Good. Of course he moves back for us to say that. <laughs> Still, that's good though. He's more distant than my wife. <laughs> Ahoy. Hello again. I'm stuck by the stream. I hope you're doing good. What are you doing, Bomas? Why are you playing over there? The only proper way to annoy Nick is to like the stream. Click like, everybody. <laughs> That's some two high, two hundred IQs algorithm strats. The funny thing about stuff like that is um, dislikers. It doesn't exist a bigger pepega than dislikers on YouTube. Do you know why? Because the algorithm doesn't care if they hit the dislike or the like button. They just care that they interact. It, it's still a, a, a dislike affects a video just as positively as a like in the algorithm. So when somebody bot hurt hits the dislike button, all they do is help the YouTuber. That's it. It's actually kind of funny.
because uh oh, well, I forgot what I was saying now. I forgot what I was gonna say. Doesn't matter. But should we go dislike all your videos to help you out? I mean I'd rather you click like, but I'd rather a dislike than nothing. Yeah, all they care about is uh, keeping you on the platform. If you search for a video or click on a video and then you'll actually click the like button or leave a comment, it doesn't. they don't care if you're angry. <laughs> they care that you're watching YouTube. Another thing that's funny as well about getting a lot of dislikes. I've had some videos get a lot of dislikes. Is then you start to get comments of people going, This video was good, why all the dislikes? And then you just get more comments. Which again, only helps you with the algorithm. But people think people hit dislike only out of spite the, to, to real YouTubers unless it's some corporate thing when we're talking about just real YouTube creators they only hit it out of spite and they think they're hurting him but it actually helps <laughs> that's oh, that's what I was gonna say that's what I was gonna say that's why you hear some YouTubers say if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't like it hit the dislike button That's just, they're just being super meta about the algorithm. Happy Friday. Oh, thank you, RuneScape King. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Oh, yeah, Pelu. Well, this is definitely a really easy way for anyone to beat Bone Master. <laughs> if they wanted to cheese it. I don't think this like is if a video and a thumbnail were completely misleading. Yeah, I mean, it would be good if that did something negative, but it doesn't, unfortunately. But yeah, that, it makes sense though. I know what you're saying. But that I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. The people that like do really like clickbait stuff that the reason why it works is because the algorithm likes that you actually clicked on the video in the first place and then if you have any kind of interaction on top of that regardless of whether it's an angry comment or a like or a dislike or whatever they just they love that they see that as like hang on let me think about this it's this way they see that as just like oh they're spending even more time on the site they're engaged. You see show destruction true. Honestly, when it comes to actually, uh, oh, well, oh no, yeah, that's fine. That's right. The best way to actually uh, provide feedback is to actually just say it politely in a comment in general on YouTube. But 
most YouTubers get their feedback from analytics anyway. That kind of tells you everything you need to know. It, it's all interesting anyway. I think they should not have removed visible dislikes since it was helpful in seeing if a tutorial video is any good or not. Hmm. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. I definitely understand people feeling that way about it i'm not sure how i really feel about it i, I just i think it's probably just not a good enough system anyway but youtuber is is amazing in general but yeah it probably could be it's funny the whole system for liking and rating videos and stuff is is actually the one thing that they keep playing with isn't it see you, you used to rate a video out of five stars or whatever didn't you Originally. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, turning comments off is definitely a weird one. But it's all complicated. Like I, I would guess, yeah, a lot of, I, I actually agree with that. I, when I see a, a video with comments turned off, I, I think it's sus. And I'll probably disregard the video as well. But just from the experience of being a YouTuber, I would actually say that I wouldn't be surprised if some people do that just because they have crazy anxiety about comments. Because no matter who you are, you, you get really nasty comments. You know what I mean? Um, people are just rude and stuff, you know. It, it, it can be brutal um, for some people. Especially when they put hours into videos, you know. And they just have people shitting on it. Well, look, they might not be insecure. I mean, they might have legitimate anxiety or something. You know what I mean? Could be insecure as well. So, but still, I agree that it's sus, though. Um, I go through phases of comments. Sometimes I just let it fly. Just like, let it be chaos. If I'm really busy. Um. Oh, most of the time though, I, I respond to all positive comments in some way, shape or form, even if it's just a like or a heart. If I have time, I'll be, do a text response. And, you know, if so, the rare occasion a negative comment is constructive criticism, I'll leave it there and perhaps even reply. But usually negative comments aren't constructive criticism. It's just people being assholes. And, you know, if it's not that bad, I'll just delete it. And if it's someone being an absolute asshole, they'd, I'll just ban him. But that level of moderation to do that, it actually just, it gets really tr hard. I started to get so many comments that I, I actually have stopped replying to comments. I, so what happened, right? I'll actually tell you guys a story about this. So like I used to reply to every comment every single day. And then it got to the point that it was taking up so much time that I was like, oh, I can't do this every day. So like, I'll do it a little bit less often. And they started like piling up a bit. 
Uh, let's just YOLO. I might, I think I've gone the wrong way here, you know. Um, and then, um, what was I going to say? And then, uh, I was like, oh, I know. I've got a backlog of comments now. What I'll do is for a members only video. Because I try and do like one members only behind the scenes each month. I do like behind the scenes stuff. I'll actually record me answering every comment. Because it actually could be kind of funny, you know. For a video. For, for, for members. Um. So now I'm like, oh, I'm saving my comments until I record the video. And then I keep delaying the video. <laughs> But I'm going to do it this, um, in a few days. So I'll have an insane amount of comments to reply to. It can take a year to... That's nothing as well, mate. That's absolutely nothing. I did content full time for seven years. before it actually started to, you know, work. I've been doing content now for almost eight years. And basically, it's like the last year that things have been going well. And that's just since I've been doing it pretty much full time. Yeah. Nice low-key self-emotion. Always appreciate that. I don't remember what that goes on and if that is one of the ones we used to go to or not. Steve Um I can't remember Appreciate that, Zom. I'm trying to remember. How many totems we got, like. Towards the altar. Is it, it could have been zero. But I'm not sure.
Yeah, now I'm not sure if I keep going or just turn around. I'm gonna just turn around or on the other side of this mountain. Could be a mistake. I'm trying to remember where the totems are on the seed off by heart without checking it. fucked up the way that set seed works is you can run any seed that's it I feel like there is a totem over this side on the way back, but could be very wrong. Hell yeah, I think that's a hard spawn there. That's good. Time we're actually on here. Hmm. Definitely not a bad pace. It's only our second ever attempt at this category. I think it should still be faster to go this way rather than turn around and go right. And then the biggest thing to figure out is all is going to be how we handle the egg situation because our eggs are very spread out. But I think we started to come up with a pretty good solution last time <laughs> I appreciate that Matt thank you glad you enjoy the content buddy thanks for checking it out yeah I'm got I, I uh, I've been doing so much streaming lately chat I am going to have to just stop streaming or make a YouTube video very very soon okay Probably next week. I haven't made like a proper YouTube video in a while. But I'm going to get a couple of speedrun. Like, uh, I'm going to finish a couple of speedruns. So I can post them as videos as well in the meantime. So I have content coming out whilst I'm not live. But like uh, it's been awesome doing a, 
a lot of streaming lately, but uh, I think I... I don't even know if this was the right choice. But, but yeah, I, I ju I've got, I'm at the point where we just need to get a YouTube video out. <laughs> but yeah, glad you enjoy the content, Matt. I really appreciate that. Boggy, doink. Thanks so much for the $10 super chat. You're absolute legend. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I know where we are now. I think we're going to climb from this side here. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. I'm working on some challenge videos. Slowly. It's slow progress. Figure stuff out, but... Definitely more coming. I'd like to make some kind of insane challenges for other games as well, but... Don't know what challenge I would do yet. Wait, sorry, this alert. Doink, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Really appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. Hope you're doing good, man. It's cool to see how far you've come. Oh, thanks, bud. Appreciate that a lot. Oh, no. We got double team. Are we at Bowmass? Yeah. We're not that far away, to be honest. Thanks so much for supporting the content. Don't really appreciate that, bud. Actually, quite close. Yeah, look, it's only there. <laughs> we made it all around. It's hard to say whether it's worth just turning around or not. I think we did maybe do the right thing. For now, at least. run through here, Deskito should. I 
grow onto some of these boar. Instead of us. Thanks again for the super chat. Don't really appreciate that, mate. Is he just camping on my body? Pretty much. Oh my god, the other one is too. There's three now. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Wait. Oh, we didn't get... Yeah, the skeetos are annoying. I'd like to see you in a Bear grill style Valheim stream where you take a beginner player with you on a on a run as a challenge. <laughs> That's actually a funny idea. We might be able to do that. <laughs> we might be able to do that. There's a few friends there. It could be really funny to do it with. Actually, we're still going to need more wood. Why? Miss on news? Yeah. I'm super excited for Miss Lands. Yeah. Bone mass. Um. What did? Why is there so many fuelings here? It's crazy. Oh, I missed. Yeah, they do come out more at night, but this is still a lot in one spot. Even for that.
Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's like a duel to the death with the spears. This is why I only do it when they attack, usually. Okay. True growth like <laughs> Oh fuck, we're not going that way. We need to It's such a scuffed area for this setup, but That's not good. I think we, yeah, this is better. Oh, we're attracting more though. It's gonna take patience. I'm a bit quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. Cause this, this, the thing, one of the iffy things about this seed is this area for the yag setups a little bit scuffed. This might be too close, honestly. Um. Yeah, this 
probably got too too close, but let's just go for it. Okay. Now uh, we do these kind of to measure. Get a little bit more wood, then I'm gonna summon. What's up, KMC? It's going good, thanks. Hi, Badder. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, mate. This might be a failed setup. Not because of our setup necessarily, but because th there's something that can happen with Yag where he gets stuck and it's very RNG. But this area is particularly prone to it because it's so much uneven terrain. He's not stuck. So that's good. How well practices this seed? Not well practices this in my second attempt at this category ever. And no one has uh, ran this category um, since the Hearth and Home update. So it's super unoptimized. But I want to start working it out. That's why we're here. We're going to work it out. So I'm just starting out just by just finishing runs on the seed and just practicing it over and over again before I start to go nuts with optimizations. Only a few boards between you and absolute death. True. It's a look better. I appreciate that. On our last, uh, on our first attempt at running this category, uh, we actually got being hunted event in the mountains. And uh, Modder somehow destroyed a bed, our bed, even though we're underground. It's a super weird bad look. <laughs> So I just want to set a timer and then just play for PB for a while on this seed. See how it goes. Yeah, 
yeah, I hope it doesn't happen again. If I get a successful run though tonight, I'm going to try and do a successful Travis of Midgard run. Right after it. Because one of the reasons I'm I'm uh, starting to run this category chat is that it is marathon friendly. And I've never done a speedrun marathon before. And I would like to do one. Funny on this seed, I've actually had the being hunted event a few times on speedruns. Super weird. Also, you know, out of like hundreds and hundreds of attempts of different categories for this game, I mean, it. Rested is not worth it in this scenario because we're surrounded by fueling, so it's gonna take too long to kill them. It would be worth it otherwise for a set seed run. Um what was I saying? I forgot. Well, we don't know about sub two hours yet. This is not been a, like this is my second ever attempt. We haven't even got good lines yet. And there uh, we we might there might be a faster seed that exists that's just not discovered yet. We might be able to start doing some more hardcore seed discovery potentially. It's all good, mate. I had to kill like four fuelings with a spear as it is just to do the setup. <laughs> this is insane. move to this end so we don't destroy the workbench. Archie did a run that was sub two hours before Hearth and Home. Now, there's a few strats that used to be possible back then that aren't possible now. But he still did two and a half hours, so. If you weren't able to hit through walls... I'd have to figure something out. I'm sure an alternative could be figured out. I mean, uh, could probably still trap him with some structures and just put bonfires in it and keep running away so he doesn't destroy it. Um, 
the clipping like with chairs and stuff isn't allowed in this category and it's not allowed in the other category that i mostly run but that works as well like you could clip into the hand You could honestly probably figure something out to do with digging under his altar. Also, even if Yag didn't clip through this, you could hypothetically kill him with arrows using this exact same setup. Because you, you can actually clip arrows. There's definitely a few ways around it that wouldn't be as fast, but... I'm sure if it did get patched, though, something new would be figured out. just realized something we're uh, we're doing set seed runs today so we'll, we know where the boss locations are so that's why the pace is so good yeah i've just remembered something I think we should have gone and got one of the eggs and, and uh, moved it basically before we did this but let's see how we get on I'm just trying to think like the thing that is the biggest puzzle with this seed is that the eggs on the mountain are so far spread out.
I think what we basically do is we take all of our stuff up the mountain. Well, first of all, I think we build a bed at the bottom of the mountain. But we actually leave the bed there. And we're going to need a lot of wood again. And I think we climb the mountain, pass in one egg. And then do the setup at modder. Place a spawn there. Go get the close egg to the altar. Then leave the mountain and go back to the egg that we passed. And take that egg to the side of the mountain with the other egg. And use corpse run to carry two eggs as far as we can go. The thing is, what I, what I was going to do that I totally forgot, when we got here, we could have used our Ekvir to quickly go and get one of the eggs. Yeah, it is. It is useless. Um, we could have used Ekvir to go and get one of the eggs and then bring it down. And then our... We'd probably have to wait less time for eat there is this the length of this fight we would recharge another eat there if you hold control and left click you can fast transfer each item as you click it this also transfer all buttons in the UI on the chest. You're welcome. Wait, in fact, that's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's, sh it's shift left click to fast transfer, control left click. Wait, is it? Which round way round is it? No. Yeah, it's control left click. Shift left click is to split. But if you, if you, if you control click when you're not in a chest, you fast drop things. I had to think about it then. He said, let's do all this stuff automatically. <laughs> I don't even think about it. I'm not streaming tomorrow, guys. I'm catching up with a friend. And then Sunday is our server stream. I'll be playing Valheim with people that subscribe to the Patreon on the private server. On That'll be on Sunday, starting at 6 p.m. UK time for three to four hours. And I know the guys on the server have been up to something. If anyone didn't watch my birthday stream, they built me a birthday cake and stuff and a Christmas and a and a birthday card. It was really sweet. But they've been I someone on the server asked me, "Oh, when's the next server stream? We need to know how much time we've got to finish what we're working on." <laughs> so, I don't know what they've been up to. Someone tells me they've got some surprises in store for us. What's up, Sauron? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing good, dude. 
I'm doing great, thanks. Maybe they're building a giant monument to your greatness. <laughs> they actually built a monument dedicated to one of my world record speedruns where Modda was the last boss and we killed Modda with our last arrow and we're completely out of mats. And they built last arrow monument where they recreated the scene on a mountain, <laughs> which was amazing. Probably gonna start a second server when Miss Lands releases. But everyone's just to do normal survival together. On the scratch again. Because we, we need to pre preserve the current server for crafting and stuff. There's so many amazing builds on it. I feel like it just needs to keep going. Be some giant metropolis. So it's all connected. <laughs> yeah, Mistlands Miss Lands is going to be awesome. Definitely excited for it. got this set up so consistent now it's actually kind of awesome i will say obviously so it is one of the least interesting things to watch for 20 minutes <laughs> there's not i don't think there's actually an eta for anything for valheim i think they just randomly release stuff when it's ready to my knowledge Could be wrong though. I think most people's assumptions about dates are more based on the original roadmap, which they did away with. Which is kind of understandable because they definitely did they didn't know the game was gonna blow up the way it did. I think a lot of people are very unsympathetic to the idea of like millions of people stop playing your game. You're going to get thousands and thousands of bug reports that you wouldn't get if it didn't blow up. But yeah, I'm hyped for Mistland. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, COVID as well, yeah. True, that's a big one. Valheim is actually just so good. Like, I've been thinking about it a lot recently because of the release of B-Rising. And like playing V Rising just made me appreciate how good Valheim actually is. Because V Rising is great. But it's no Valheim.
like Valheim is the closest feeling I've had to when I first discovered Minecraft which was probably the most mind-blowing thing ever to me uh, in my whole life playing games it's just when Minecraft was brand new this game recreate that feeling for me in a way that no other game has really come close. Like playing Minecraft way back in the day when it was like pre alpha. Before it was like known to be like a kid's game or something. Which is still bullshit. Um, but that is what people think of it now. I think that don't play. Um, but it used to be like just super gamer nerds that played it like me like but when it was still growing it was crazy playing it back then like, it's such a crazy weird But yeah, also, like, you know, the more I think about Mistlands, the more I think about, like, what, I, what my approach is going to be content-wise, and the more I just get excited about the idea of, like, probably never pl do, playing it properly from now on. <laughs> like, just dive immediately into the speedrun. Okay. Well, like I could hear another Desquito. Yeah, I can. Can't tell where it is though, really. That's not going to be a good spot. You'll get stuck in that clip there. You either want to clip all the way through or not at all. Um, bro, we've got like no wood though now. Don't need a lot of wood. should probably actually leave a crafting table as well because stuff might despawn
This is the tricky part of the run. Because this mountain is actually pretty rough. We're tripling up on buffs here. Oh my god, that was so close. I'm glad it worked out. There's an egg here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. We don't go for that one yet. Wait till we heal a little bit. This is about to be world record. Well, we're running set seed today, so no one has actually done a set seed speed run since Hearth and Home, so technically, yes. There's no, like, th there is any successful run that would be submitted would be world record at this point so technically yes Should be around here. Yep, there it is. I'm not using a map or anything today, by the way. I'm just fully testing myself. Okay. This isn't the hard bit yet. <laughs> Either way. Drake is being creep the Drake is being creepy, not gonna lie.
Go away. I think I activated the spawn, right? It's not the biggest deal if we didn't, but I think we did. Yeah, we did. Like this bit you can shoot into, but that's okay. It's supposed to be like that. actually real quick move this bed um that should be fine Maybe we'll dig out a bit more. Ah, it should be good. Okay, so now. Um, that yak head's so funny. Now we go and get the close egg. Go, 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 go. here somewhere there it is oh dodge dodge oh yikes So the the egg hunt in general is gonna be the hardest bit. Like this is the easiest egg to get. The rest are not gonna be easy. <laughs> if we can do the first like our first complete run in less than four hours, I'll be happy. And it's just optimization after that. What's up, Blossom? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. It's going good, thank you. Nice. All right, then. Oh, 
How are we gonna go back down? Annoyingly. Try and get the other egg on the way down. Which is gonna be scuffed. Guarantee it's gonna be scuffed. <laughs> I was just thinking there could be actually somewhere we could launch ourselves off and just reload to fall damage cancel. So now our, we're basically, before we start relocking, we use our corpse run to get as far as we can with corpse run active to reduce his stamina usage and heals us. Once the cult run is over, though, as soon as we're out of stamina, we relog basically. Unless it's a time where we can't run, then there's no point in relocking. Because obviously, sometimes going down the mountain, you actually can't run anyway. You would just die from fall damage. So, that actually, I was thinking about aggroing that guy anyway. Because it might help with the drakes. I think, right, so now I'm going to try and relog so we have max stamina when we get the egg. I'm trying to think if, there's, if there'd ever be a case where you would reset your spawn or something. No. Or like go in, or maybe like go and activate the Yag thing at spawn. But I don't think it's ever going to be worth the time, even though spawn's pretty close because it's a set seed. I don't think it would ever really be worth the time because obviously we'd be able to survive the mountain fine with the Yagluff buff, even with nothing else. This is going to be close as to whether we make it or not. Something kind of interesting about what we're doing here, though. We're not going to make it, even though it's so, so close by. Thanks so look, Jesse. I appreciate it. Man. I'm trying to think if there's actually anything we can do. That's fine, though. 
It's okay still. Um, it was we we did pretty good to get it that close. I've never tried that this before. It was kind of I knew it was gonna be potentially sketch, but if he could do it, it would be the best thing to do. It's and it seems like it actually actually. Yeah, may maybe if we actually cooked some meat, it might be possible. Like I said, also. I, I'm not sure, like, how much risk we take with fall damage on this descent whilst we have warp run. Because it's definitely a potential time save. But I just don't know about. Ooh, see that's about as far as you want to ever do it. So we made it a little bit further. That's actually fine because we can grab the corpse run. thinking out loud a bit because obviously it's a new category for me well, let's not go that way Yeah, we should probably actually just leave and get to that bed and run back up to get the thing, maybe. Well, it depends how close we are. Let's see. So what I was going to say before is one of the interesting things about what we're doing here is we're using we're doing something that actually wasn't possible until very recently. Because the reason why we're taking this off the mountain is so we actually can take two up at once. Which is only possible since they changed Corpse Run to both carry weight also. If you're doing this whole thing in mountains where you reload to refill stamina and you're trying to collect stuff and then run back elsewhere. Top tip. To make it go smoother, always relog before you collect the thing you're trying to collect, whether it's your tombstone or the egg. So then you have max stamina to run from that point. Okay. Try and ah, oh. oh no, there's food there. <laughs> yeah, we didn't think about that. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, we're playing a set seed today, so no, it's not a random seed. I usually do random seed runs. Just not today. Oh, God. You'll have pet rules and you go down. True. Yeah, usually I run random seed, but doing something different at the minute. One of the main reasons I'm doing it is, first of all, I want to see what is the shortest possible time Valheim can be beaten. Second of all is I want to make Valheim like a marathon safe game so I can attempt to speedrun marathon. Where I try and beat Valheim, Tribes of Midgard, Elden Ring, and Resident Evil 1 and 2 back to back. Which, um... Oh, fuck. We, we just managed to beat Trials of Midgard with the speedrun strats twice in a row, back to back last night. So, get in there with that game. So, why this particular seed is the fastest seed that's currently known. This has been the best seed for boss locations for over a year. Or well, for about a year or something. Perfect. Drake's showing us where we need to be. Oops. Oh my god, you fucking idiot game. Why 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 wouldn't it actually at least put one of the other like one got one of the other thing? It's like why wouldn't it put it on? It's super weird. Uh, anyway. Um We are going to do this. This. 
It's a set seed run, so definitely doing things differently. I'm cooking food because the eggs are so spread out on this mountain. So it's definitely worth it. I've just realized something. Let's not do this yet. Let's actually wait. We've got two minutes 42 till we get eek deer. Let's actually just wait. It's totally worth it. We'll get it so much further. Uh, we could actually potentially sleep then. If that's the case. Didn't we literally just set this spawn like this? <laughs> can't remember like how much wood we actually have up the top. I'm killing time really here. There's definitely wolves, but not much we can do about that. This is exactly where we have to go. the egg here somewhere oh it's over is that it there what's up Christy thanks for stopping by hope you're doing good well a slight wrong angle that you baited by those other rates, but fuck.
man. How's it going, Christy? I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by the stream. What? Well, why are we... Why are we stuck now? We weren't stuck before. What? Why? We literally just slept in this bed and everything. Okay. Um. Now what? I guess we don't really have a choice. We just gotta go for it. We've just caught the front. Well, that's good, Christy. The last time I ran this seed, uh, like a couple of days ago, what the drakes were in the exact right position. Definitely a bit glitchy, this bed set up. The roof is just a little bit high, but it's... just fucking bullshit still, obviously. Let me out! He he's wanting me in the wrong direction, so it's not I'm not clipping out of it. Hey corpses don't want to go away. <laughs> the dumbest shit. Literally just managed to jump out of it by respawning. Yeah, there's several ways out of this. I was trying to do the fastest way out of it, though. It's just not working. Like, we literally just got out of it, right?
Okay. Actually, I bet you would would get out of it if we actually could sleep. <laughs> like this way out is gonna take ages. Like it did just randomly let us let us out eventually before, didn't it? The other thing to try is to just reload. Oh, actually, we're nearly out. Nah. Yeah, hold the deadliest boss to the roof. True. Very true. All else fails. Relog. Should have thought of that sooner. My Colts run. We could ever even try and bring mats up to this cave place of bed there. Please submit this run seems solid overall. Let's see how I feel about it once it's done. If I finish, if I end up finishing this run, I'll definitely release it as a YouTube video. If I post it as a video, I'll probably submit it. Let's see why not. Submit an easy times to beat actually entices people to post more runs on the leaderboard. Because like, bruh, is this the best this pleb can do? I'm way better than this. <laughs> That's the secret to growing a speedrun community. Do, 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 do. Don't know if I made the right decision to go left around this rock, actually. 
Oh, we actually have more health than I thought. Oh, yeah, we, it was... Uh, I see it's hard to say. We did okay. We did okay. So, definite relog now. Set the pace and annihilate them. True. Yeah, I've submitted times for multiple games that are just like, just successful runs, like not the best I could do. Just for the fun. Yeah, so is this going to be a problem? Yeah. Another weird Valheim quirk that you gotta love to hate, hate to love, whatever. Now I have no stamina. So this is all a waste of time. Bruh. Well, no, everyone, people probably get way worse times even, and that's not what I'm saying. You see, they, they, they don't have the balls to post the time. That's not good. Mm. Fucking Christ almighty, this is shit. This should be the one now, right? Um, I don't know what to do. It's just bad. Trying to think like what to even do. Uh I think we tanked our stamina trying to figure out like how to get it to actually activate the both with the two eggs in it, didn't we? Always throws the mechanic to reduce the cooldown. Your ability. Somehow. Um.
Let's do this, maybe. There's no world record in this category. No one's done it yet. Thinking about like a Coltron chain, basically. Probably just faster to relog at this point. Maybe not actually. Probably not. All because we we would put the wrong angle up the hill. Uh, it's funny as well because we weren't even that far off. Fucking nothing that we can do. Literally. Like in this situation, we might as well go back to spawn place a fucking modder uh you growth ability so we can just walk up the hill but we don't have it it sits the top of the mountain now so that's something to bear in mind for a backup strap Uh, 
Ugh. We need food. We could. Well, now that. We could just try using fire. And wood to like climb and build a shelter and climb and build a shelter. But well, I'm pretty sure that'll take longer than five minutes. And plus, if we do that, we, we can't just blitz past. Um, the enemies. I love seeing Grey Dwarfs get wrecked by fuelings. Oh my god, go away. serious yes he just randomly hit my bed trying to hit me well now what I still don't I don't know I actually really don't know what to do stream sniper yeah it must be because I don't even know if we actually will have enough food. I guess we just have to go for it. Try and get some more food. Whilst we wait for eat there. Yeah, I guess this is what we're doing.
I might start actually hunting for glitches in Valheim again. I mentioned it on Jurok's podcast that like something that I do sometimes because it's possible that glitchless uh, that glitched speedruns actually end up being a thing at some point. It's just that you know right now it's just not worth it. There's like nothing, no good. Um, no glitches that are really worth doing. But I would actually find it pretty interesting. If you can find some. Oh, he's going to instantly destroy my bed now, isn't he? He ran away, actually. That's not too bad. Dude, fuck right off. Oh no, I, I... Chat. I clicked the fucking puke berry. I was panicked. Well, we gotta go. How the fuck did he actually manage to hit me? Well, I'm not playing this out. Fuck that. I'm waiting another 20 minutes. And I'm not caught running all the way up. Yikes. Oh well. We're still uh, getting to grips with this category. A lot of mistakes. But that's what it's like. This is our second run, so. Splish. I think what we should do is when we go to your glove, we should use an eek there to get this egg that's here. Then. And then leave it here next to us. A Drake just managed to hit us still again. So, no more Eat Theory again. 
for another 20 minutes. Anyway, this is too long. But yeah, I think what we should do is when we come to do Yag, I actually think we maybe use an Ichthyr then to go and grab this egg. In fact, we could even just go around and grab it from here. Looking at it. Yeah, let's actually analyze this a bit. So, uh, if before we do Yag, we actually run around here, put a bed down, grab that. That's going to be easy peasy. Back down, back this way. Boom. Do the Yag setup, but drop the egg. Do Yag. Um. Place. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to think, like, yeah, we're not going to be able to carry everything, are we? Yeah. So we'll do Yag. Place the bed there. Get up the mountain. Um, I don't even know that that is really the best way up. To be honest. Um, it is just a bitch of a mountain to climb. Look at it. This end bit of this scene's always been the problem. Um, we could always just try a different seed. There's one other seed that's a contender. But anyway, let's say we do that. We leave that egg at the bed that we placed. Do this setup. Grab this egg. Leave our stuff here. Then go back. Oh. Yeah. One of the best things that we could try. I don't know if we could do it or not. But if we could somehow get this egg without using corpse run or anything so that we don't actually change our spawn here that would be great that could actually be worth trying it is a big if. To be honest, it would just require so much wood. that I don't even know if it would be worth it. But you could do it by just keeping building structures and stuff like that and hiding. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it. We need... Uh... I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But anyway, so we get that one. And then we have to leave. Get that. I can just do that. Yeah. It definitely is an improvement. I don't. It's, it's probably not the best way to do it. Look how bad this mountain is to climb though from so many of these angles. It's insane. Like, believe it or not, this one that we're trying. It's actually not the worst place to climb. You're relatively smooth. How the fuck that Drake actually hit me then is crazy.
But I don't know if we can actually utilize the cave. There's too many drakes around. We could potentially... We could potentially go here and place a bed in this cave entrance and then maybe just try and go in the cave and ditch all of our stuff inside here so we can do our corpse runs and food and everything here so the drakes don't get us but then we would still have a respawn there and we could probably do that without using an eek there This is actually going to... The mountain is just going to be the most complicated part. For sure. But yeah, if we did that... Are we gain? Yeah, we are gaining stamina by doing that. We could actually potentially even manage to get that egg. And then move it further this way. Yeah, I think that is actually what we do. It's it's ridiculous how complicated it is. It's so funny because obviously on a random seed run you just wing it. But like on a random seed run, this mountain would just be a reset because these things are so far away. But I think that is actually what we do, you know. We're going to go through it again. Wait, I can put some music on. So, like, as we're about to do your gloth, we basically run around this way before we do it. Drop everything. Hop and eat there, do a corpse run. Grab this egg. Go back down. Uh, we're probably just actually going to have to drop the egg. Immediately, to be honest, we're not, we're not going to be able to get it very far because we can't carry everything. Well, we probably should drop everything over here before we go and do it, even. And then we drop the egg here, we do the fight, we place this bed and a workbench so nothing despawns with the roof ready to set for spawn again. Then we corpse run and use Eek there up here because it'll be recharged with the time it takes to do. Um, your cloth. Maybe we even. Nah, it's not. I don't think in this case. I don't think it's worth utilizing this because we've got a eek there. Yeah, it's too high up. So then we we just yolo to here. Do the setup. Set a spawn. Corpse run to here. Place that. Then. Like. It, it's definitely possible. There's some places we can just run and jump off. Um, we basically leave anyway, either way. That might be a bit 
Tell me what she got into right now. Um, so at this point, we have nothing. So we get our stuff and the egg. We run around here. Set up a bed here using the bed mats that we left. Then we corpse run only with the egg to here with bed mats and we put a bed there then we actually go in the cave and we use this to set up our corpse runs so that they can't get us and we corpse run to this egg leaving everything else including the other egg and we bring out back here then we caught the drone with everything as far as we can and when the caught run expires we drop the egg and then we keep relogging See, that is actually quite steep at that angle, but it, is, it still could be worth it. And then we'll have to come back for the egg that we dropped part way. And then we do it. Anyway, guys. Um, thanks for watching today's stream. Um, yeah, we're still figuring this out. Um, I'm going to, uh, I haven't stopped running RSG or anything. I just want to practice SSG as well. I want to be able to run this category as well and figure out the fastest seed and stuff like that. Um, it should allow us to optimize some things about RSG as well if we get good at this. And, uh, it's going to allow me to beat the game as fast as possible and make the game marathon safe so we can do some speed run marathons. Hope you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, there is no stream tomorrow. Um, and the next stream is on Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time for three to four hours. And it's going to be a server stream where we play on our private Patreon server just for people that support the content on Patreon. And we're going to be doing that on Sunday. Uh, so no stream tomorrow. But we'll be streaming on Sunday with patrons. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll do some more RSG streams soon, but I'm trying to work on uh, uh, just ma marathon practice because I want to do a big speedrun marathon stream sometime soon. Maybe, don't know how long it would be, but I would estimate eight hours or less of just back-to-back -back successful runs of different games. Um, or at least attempting to do back-to-back -back successful runs of different games. <laughs> because I would really love to have a YouTube video. That is basically me doing like no resets, back-to-back -back successful runs of all the games that I know how to speed run. I think that would be awesome uh, for a YouTube video. Um... But anyway, thanks. I appreciate that, Mitch. I appreciate that, Stevo. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing some earlier streams. Obviously, the next stream on Sundays at 6 p.m. And we'll try and do some earlier streams after that. But anyway, if you want to support the content financially before I go, I will remind everybody because it is the financial support of our community that allows us to um, keep putting all of this time and effort into these live streams and speedruns and videos and stuff and the number one best way you can support the content financially is on patreon at patreon.com slash nick patreon allows you to do a monthly donation sort of like a twitch sub except you can do it for any amount of money even as little as one dollar and how it works is for example if you were to subscribe at the one dollar level right now you'll donate one dollar to me right now and then you'll be donating one dollar a month on the first of every month from then onwards until you cancel your subscription and you can cancel it at any time Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join my private Valheim server that I pay for that runs 24-7. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream. And we do server streams. Our next one is on Sunday, like I said. 
you get a link to the Patreon by doing exclamation Patreon in the chat or clicking the link in the description. Secondly, you can support the content by doing donations. Those are the best way to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. You get a link to those by doing exclamation donate or by clicking the link in the description. And last but not least, you can support the content over on YouTube by doing super chats showing the live streams. Uh, by doing super thanks on the YouTube videos and by clicking the join button below the video and become a YouTube member and members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos. The next one of those I am filming on Monday. Um, so it will probably come out on Tuesday and it's going to be a video of me catching up on my YouTube comments. Uh, you'll see me reading every single comment I have that I haven't yet read yet good or bad and uh, responding to them appropriately that's the next behind the scenes video for members and uh, yeah don't forget to join the discord it's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos exclamation discord uh, we'll click the invite in the description and also I do stream on twitch and youtube at the same time so if you're watching on youtube and you'd rather for watch on twitch you can do exclamation twitch in the chat or click the link in the description and if you're watching on twitch and you want to support the content for free but it's mentioned YouTube, head over to YouTube stream, smash the like button. Makes it more likely uh, to be in the recommended feed for new people. And whilst you're over there, you might as well smash the sub button as well. Because I don't just stream on YouTube. I post all my personal best, world records, the occasional crazy challenge run uh, and guide video as well. Uh, so there's lots of YouTube content over there. And all of the streams since I started speedrunning, all of them. Are archived on a YouTube channel. There's like over 120 Valheim speedrun archived attempts, um, plus PBs and records and stuff. So um, the YouTube channel is definitely worthwhile. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll see you Sunday for the server stream, and uh, then. Um, like I said, new members only video coming out on Tuesday. A uh, new speedrun video for Travis and Midgard will be out soon. And um, I probably will stream at some point next week. But I'm going to start taking time off from streaming to make my next proper YouTube video. Because it's been a bit too long since I posted a proper video. Um, so that's the heads up on that. Um, but that does mean you'll be getting a proper video soon, probably a speedrun guide. So thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, yeah, I'll see you Sunday night. Have a good one. Bye